May the 4th be with you, or rather should I say today is May the 4th. And we're going to go to the Lego store to see what awesome Lego sets we can pick up, specifically Star Wars related, because May the 4th be with you. Uh, Lego has some really great sales today on Lego sets, specifically the Star Wars kind. Let's go check it out. There we go. May the 4th be with you. Star Wars Day. Today is the day. Oh, wow. And I, I coming into the store, I see exactly what I was looking for, which is some really cool Lego sets, Star Wars themes. And I'm an insider. I am a Lego insider, so I want to get two times the points for these sets. This one is $199. Look at this tie interceptor. Man, this is beautiful. This is not one I let the kids play with. This is one where I get, purchase it, build it, and put it on the shelf. I love the design. The coloration is cool. But this is what I came to get today. There's a really cool R2-D2 down here. Is that two different versions? No, they're just two different boxes. Let's take a look at this box here. 10 plus R2-D2. Celebrating 25 years of Star Wars. That's really cool. This is a nice set. And then if you look at the other box, just the other side of it, I guess. That looks really good. This is what we came in the store for, just to look at these Star Wars sets to see what we may want to get. Here's a pod racer with a little bit of background on that. 18 plus. That's a good set to pick up. I'm really interested in one of the spacecrafts, like one of the spaceships. Like this one looks really cool to me. It's sleek. It's 30 centimeters, or it's 11 inches, 11 and a half inches long. It's down about seven inches high. That's a good size. This is a high top candidate for one of the ones I may purchase today. Let's see what else we have here. And there's the Interceptor down at the bottom. It's a really big set. I don't really know if I'd have space for it. It's really pretty. But I don't know if I'd have space for it. Here's some brick heads. There's a cool little Darth Maul, Obi-Wan, Captain Panka, Cha Cha Binks, Anakin Skywalker. Those are cool. And what else do we have here? Oh, look at that. Super Star Destroyer. 630 pieces, 18 plus. How tall is this? How big is this set gonna be? This is gonna be 17 inches long, 45 centimeters, and about 14 centimeters tall or five and a half inches tall. This is a really nice one as well. But let's look around the rest of the store and see if there are any other Lego focused Star Wars sets here for May the 4th. They're playing the Star Wars music in the store. Make it and take it home. How do we get to do that? That would be really cool. Okay, here's another setup in the store. Oh wow, that's the Millennium Falcon. That, this is what I was talking about guys. I love it. I saw these ships earlier today. The Millennium Falcon, the Invisible Hand, and above that, I'm not familiar with that one. Tented four, Tented the four? Tented four? Or IV? Let me know in the comments exactly how you say that, but that one looks really cool. But for me, it's all about the Millennium Falcon. Let's see, here, 18 plus Millennium Falcon. This is just so classic, quintessential Star Wars. And it's, a, it's 921 pieces. I think this may be the one I get. I like the invisible hand. That's a really cool ship. It looks really sleek. But the Millennium Falcon is so classic. How do I pass that up? Again, the, uh, the Star Destroyer. And there's the Invisible Hand. Oh, here's another one. This is Ahsoka. This is her Jedi shuttle. That's a really nice one. I wish they had this one built, and I don't see it built here in store. I would love to see this one built in store. Look at that, it goes to diff two different configurations. So I would love to see this one built in store. I'm gonna just keep looking and see if I can find it. Okay, so 
here is the Star Wars section here in the Lego store. And some really cool sets here. That's some Batman stuff. It's Chewbacca. It's, oh, the Chewbacca's temporarily out of stock. They don't have that one in. The R2-D2, this is the R2-D2 build. It looks really good. 89 pounds. That's not really bad. 90 pounds is not a bad price for that at all. A-T-T-E. That's a walker. 119. The brickheads, again, catching my eye. Okay, so here we go. This is Ahsoka's Jedi shuttle, and I can get a good look at that now. It's nice, I like the size on it. But Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, oh wow, look at that. I definitely have to take that home with me. That's Yoda's ship. Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. Here it is, I think, is this it? This is it right here. 29 pounds is 30 pounds, so the price is really good. A plus, the boys can build this one. I can let my younger children build this one for me. But yeah, I like that a lot. And then here's a Thai bomber. It's a good price on that, 60 pounds. And then there's a spider tank. That's, that's cool. That's cool. I've never really purchased, you know, a lot of Lego Star Wars before, but I think the ships look really cool. And that's kind of think how I would approach Lego Star Wars is kind of getting into the ships. I have a friend of mine who already has the Razor Crest. That is something I'm not ready for. 520 pounds, I'm not ready for that price either. But I don't want anything quite that big just yet. Like they have this larger R2-D2, which is 210 pounds. I don't want anything that size. Let's see, it's 2,314 pieces. Let me see if I get the height to dimensions on this. It's gonna be uh, 20 centimeters or 7.5 inches wide and it is 12.5 inches tall or 31 centimeters tall. So this is a pretty big R2-D2. And I'm not ready for that. The smaller R2-D2, which looks just as cool to me, is how tall is that? Oh, let's see if I can find the dimensions. I don't see the dimensions on the box for this one. But it's easy to say that it's likely gonna be much smaller. You can see the difference in the size of the boxes. So it's definitely gonna be smaller than the larger one. And it's 90 pounds and the larger one is 210 pounds. So I've taken a good look around here and I won't lie guys, in the past I've been a bit intimidated by the full size Millennium Falcon. It is huge and I really don't have the space for it. But this smaller version of it, I just love this. I love the size of it. I love the design. And I have the space to put that on the shelf and it's gonna look so good. So this is gonna be the first one I'll definitely pick up to take home. It's gonna be this really, really beautiful Millennium Falcon. Okay, so I'm gonna get the Millennium Falcon and I'm also gonna get this really cool little brickhead. This is Clone Commander Cody 10 plus. I'm gonna get this brickhead as well. So I'm a bit torn here as I look at these Lego sets because it's Yoda Jedi Starfighter which I really like. I think it's really cool. But what's also grabbing my eye is this TIE Bomber. And what would be really great about that is, so where the Yoda ship, I would get a Yoda men fig, and that's appealing. But what's a little bit more appealing to me is that I may get the TIE Bomber, and then I get a Darth Vader men fig, because who wouldn't want to have a Darth Vader men fig in their collection? And that bomber looks a bit more dynamic. It's a little bit more expensive, but I think that it just may be a better purchase overall than the Yoda Starfighter. So let's get this one. So right now, what we're gonna leave with my Lego Star Wars haul is the TIE Bomber, the Millennium Falcon, and a Brickhead. Lego has a lot of really cool new sets coming out. There's definitely this one from Dune, but we're not doing Dune today. We're gonna to stay on one theme, and that theme is Star Wars, because it is May the 4th. Okay, guys, let's go pay for these sets. You get this little medal for spending over 80 pounds. And you get this one for spending over 145 pounds. So you get a lot of minifigures in this one. This one's oh, wow, fun. that's yeah. nice. Alright, is it going to be cash or card? Uh, card. That's oh. cool. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to send it. So there's a really cool Lego haul, guys. This has been a wonderful day. Hey, may the force be with you. And until next time, take care.